Hello. In this video I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called Power Rules with Negative Exponents. We're asked to simplify and write our answer with only positive exponents. So we have this fraction being raised to the power of negative 2. And since everything is in parentheses that means each one of these elements inside the parentheses needs to be raised to the negative 2 power. So just to rewrite this that means the 2 coefficient out front needs to be raised to a negative 2 power. So that's 2 to the negative 2 power. The x to the fifth needs to be raised to the negative 2 power. So that's x to the fifth raised to the negative 2. And right now I'm just writing this out, sort of distributing that negative 2 exponent. And then in the denominator I have this y to the negative fourth raised to the negative 2. So that's y to the negative fourth raised to the negative 2. So I have raised everything to that negative 2 power. So I no longer have it outside. I no longer have the large parentheses. But I do have three things here that need to be simplified. Going through them, I have 2 to the negative 2. For now, I'm just going to leave that in the numerator. But for the x's, I'm going to use the power rule that says when you have a variable raised to the power and that is raised to another power, we keep that variable, x, and the power inside and the power outside get multiplied. So that's going to be a negative 10. And then in the denominator, I also have a variable raised to a power raised to a power. And I, again, keep the variable and multiply those exponents, but here I have a negative times a negative, so the negative 4 times the negative 2 equals a positive 8. So we have been simplifying things, but we want to only have positive exponents. So continuing here, I have my fraction. This first part, this 2 to the negative 2, to get rid of a negative exponent in the numerator, I can move it to the denominator, and now that'll be 2 to the positive 2 power. I would do the same thing for the x to the negative 10, move it to the denominator, and it would now be x to the 10. The y to the 8th is in the denominator to, to begin with, and it will stay in the denominator and still be positive. And since I moved everything out of the numerator as I was making things positive, I'm left with that one placeholder in the numerator. And then lastly, I can simplify that 2 squared, so I'll rewrite this as 1 over 2 squared is 2 times 2, which is 4, and that x to the 10th and y to the 8th are still in the denominator, so I've simplified this expression. 